Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation about your media literacy presentation that you'll be doing for the end of the semester. So let's get right into it. This should be a lot of fun. Also might be a little bit challenging, and uh, but I think you'll have a good time with it. So let's get right into what you need to do. Number one, you need to pick a topic. Now on Brain Honey, I'll, I'll, list, I'll have a list of topics, but uh, you can also choose one that you might like. The key is that it must be directly related to mass media, and that's it. So anything that we've talked about over the semester, anything from public relations to magazines to body image, all the subtopics that are in there from technology things to uh, things that are more of a uh, research nature like media effects and all that kind of stuff. You choose what you want to do. The goal is though is that the presentation must be between three and five minutes. Don't go over otherwise the files will be too big for this presentation and you won't be able to upload them. So keep that in mind. The next thing is to research and prepare. So the goal of the presentation is to teach us something new that we don't know before. So don't rehash the textbook. Don't take some pieces out of the chapter and just read us those. Uh, you can use that to, brain, uh, you know, to brainstorm to get you started on something, but please don't use the textbook. Do find other resources. So say you're really interested in uh, body image. There's lots of resources out there. Say you're really interested in the latest advent in uh, e-readers. Uh, give us some resources out there and, and uh, show us some stuff. Tell us some new things. So lots of resources out there from traditional media, newspapers, magazines, online databases. You name it, it's out there. Now this is not a research paper in that you have to have all the uh, these major citations done in APA style. But I do know, want, to, want to know where you got your information so it just doesn't come from you talking to us for five minutes about what you think. I do like your opinions and do put that in there but don't base it solely upon your opinions. Please do have some actual research out there and tell us where you got it from. Uh, don't try to wing it. So you're going to need to plan this presentation. You might want to write down a few notes just like I've done here so you can present it well. I don't expect it to be uh, like reading from a teleprompter but I also expect it to be nicely done so you show that you've prepared well. Make notes, uh, prepare a PowerPoint. This is what I've done here and I'm going to show you how I did this in just a minute in uh, another tutorial. Okay, you can also use other visuals, whatever. It doesn't have to be PowerPoint. It could be uh, OpenOffice has a, a presenter tool or, or uh, you can use Keynote from Mac, whatever you want to do. Now the creation part. After you've created your PowerPoint or visuals, then you'll need to log on to a website called Screencast-O-Matic. Now there are other ones out there. I've used this one quite a bit and I like it and it works well and it should work on your computer if you have a computer that's uh, relatively up to date. Uh, you will need a microphone so you can use the one that's on your computer. If you don't have one, then most often you can perhaps borrow one and uh, plug it into your computer. Either way, you'll need to figure out how you can do a voice over on your presentation because this is an oral presentation. Um, you can use a webcam like I am. That's optional. You don't have to. It's strictly optional. Uh, up to you. Follow the direction on the tutorial on the Screencast-O-Matic and uh, you won't have much of a problem. Also on the Screencast-O-Matic website gives you some basic instructions. It's really not very hard to use so there's not a lot of instructions there but I think you'll find it fairly intuitive. Um, if you don't like your first attempt, Screencast-O-Matic lets you redo it and do it until you like it. And where it's a three to five minute presentation, you might as well do it to where you like it. And make sure to save your video when you're done as an MP4. In fact, that, that takes us to our next part is export and upload your presentation. So follow the directions to save your video as an MP4. That's going to make it a small file size. And then go to the area in Brain Honey. This one's going to be an area that uh, traditionally we do uh, our blogs in. And I'm going to have you go in there and type up a brief one paragraph explanation of what your presentation is so everyone can read what that is and then use the attachment down at the bottom left you'll see a place to attach it attach your video there and upload it now depending on where you're at whether you're on a place you know on campus here is pretty fast if you're off campus uh, depends on your speed of your internet it may take a while to upload but wait till it's completely uploaded before you log out of there otherwise it might interrupt the upload and it might not work so make sure you, it's completely done you should be able to go back in to uh, the blog area and click on it and it should actually download back to your computer so you can make sure that's actually uploaded. Okay. Uh, once you're done, you're done and that's it. So that's the big presentation. It should be, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun for you. Uh, make sure you choose something that you're interested in. Don't try to find something you think I'll be interested in or something that seems very high intellectually. Uh, something that you're interested in, but it has to be mass media related. Some kind of subject matter we may have covered or we may have tangentially covered in the class, but you're, you want to go deeper into it. Don't use the textbook. 
find some outside resources, teach you something that we probably don't know already. All right, that's it. I hope uh, that uh, explains what the project is. And do make sure that you go and look over, watch the tutorial for Screencast-O-Matic, and that will answer questions on what you need to do there.